Hello and welcome to the Dave Bedan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Bedan. Coach, it's been a busy last few weeks since we last chatted. Um, let's talk, go back a couple weeks first chat about the uh, Salisbury meet. Uh, very successful, um, you know, set some records and, uh, you know, pretty exciting meet overall. Yeah, I mean, first the, the woman winning the meet was, was really exciting because there was a bunch of Division two schools there. Yeah. And then Emily winning the meet overall by 30 seconds was pretty impressive. Yeah. And then on the men's side, I mean, Pat ran a huge course record. Yeah. I mean, he went 24-15, and the old course record was 24-52. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, but the men finished third, but yeah. again, we're, we're making progress to where we need to be. Yeah. And then uh, your final tune-up before the back championship next week, um, you went to the road meet, which featured, you know, I don't know, I, I wrote the release with so many ranked teams, yes. you know, on both sides. And, um, you know, Pat was able to go out on the men's side again and run another big number, and... Uh, you know, then Emily finished 11th, so, um, and uh, the women finished 10th overall and beat a couple ranked teams, so that had to be exciting on um, Saturday. Yeah, so, I mean, on the women's side, we were hoping to do a little bit better because there was yeah. a lot of ranked teams from the region yeah. and out of region as well, but, um, I mean, it was still a good experience. Emily yeah. ran well again, and they all know what they need to do yeah. next week at the conference meet and, and at regionals in order to to um, potentially get in that large bid and hopefully right. have a chance at winning the conference as well. Yeah. And then on the men's side, that was, I'd say that was Pat's first real test yeah. of the season. And, um, I mean, it went well. I told him he couldn't lead until four miles. And, and I mean, he closed the last last part of the race from yeah. the four-mile mark to the finish in 424. Yeah. So it was impressive. Yeah, certainly, you know, impressive. And certainly, you know, you know we've talked about it. And he's got a shot to do some really special things here as we get towards the home stretch of the season. Yeah, it's really exciting. And we're trying to go day by day and right. just, just enjoy the experience. But I do really believe he has a shot at winning the national title. Yeah. And then, um, you know, just looking at this week's regional rankings, you know, obviously people noticed um, what both the men and the women did as both teams uh, moved up this past week. The women, I believe, moved up to seventh. I think the men moved up to spot as well. Yeah. So we're excited. I mean, we're both, this is the first time we've ever had both in the top 10 yeah. last week and this week. And, and the women keep moving up. So people are starting to notice. And, yeah. and again, I mean, we all just have to run well on, the next two meets right yeah absolutely and obviously um in november 2nd you go over to go out to hood for the uh, conference championship and uh kind of what's your preparation for that you know kind of the week of the race kind of how do you go through that and uh get ready to compete yeah so so the way we do it this week's pretty tough yeah it's not one of our harder weeks but we still get the volume and the intensity up a little bit yeah. and then next week we'll back down and um we'll just talk a lot about race plan and it's a smaller meet the conference meet right. but um I mean, both of them have goals of potentially winning, so we got to yeah. figure out who who's going to match up with who from the other teams, and and I think I think they both have a really good shot. Yeah, and then uh, obviously two weeks after that, see a regional meet, and uh, you know obviously another chance to go out and um, you know potentially as we talked about, do you know maybe qualifies in that large, or do yeah. some you know or have individuals qualify. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I mean, we really think Pat's going to make it, and then yeah. potentially Emily, and maybe some other individuals, and potentially the women's team. So. Yeah. I mean, we, n we never know. Right. That's why you run the race, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck. And, um, you know, we'll chat again next month. And um, yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right. For Dave Dan, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Dan Show.